Top 5 Most Addicting Mobile Games Whether you are sitting in an airport waiting for a delayed flight or on a long car drive from Canada to Panama City or something like that, everyday events can be pretty boring. And how do you make that fun? By playing games on your phone. So my name is Michael from Unusual 10s and 5s, and today we are counting down the top 5 most addicting mobile games. Number 5, Akinator. Prepare to open up this game and explore the knowledge of this magical genie. It was created by three French programmers in 2007. Some people have dubbed this game creepy due to Akinator's knowledge. During the game, you think of a real or fictional character, and he will ask you questions and try to guess who your character is. Honestly, this guy is unbeatable. You can do presidents and kings, creepy pastas and film characters, YouTubers and celebrities, and he'll guess them all. This game is so addicting and you could play it for hours on end. But unlike most games, it doesn't involve any real action other than answering questions, so it is number five. Number four, stupid zombies. You have 720 levels to destroy all of those stupid zombies in this game. You have a shotgun to shoot these zombies down, but beware, and use your ammo wisely. And four important words for this game. Aim for the head. Shoot off a stupid zombie's head, you get more points. This game, like almost all games that involve zombie killing, is really fun. You could sit around for hours blasting their limbs off. As long as you don't mind blood spraying everywhere, you're in for some fun. Alright ladies and gents, at number 3 we have Crossy Road. If you're a Crossy Road fan, like me, then you're probably going to dislike this bi video because Crossy Road is number 3. But before you go clicking off, I'll guarantee you that number 2 and 1 games are better. In Crossy Road, you get to play as a variety of characters including a sassy schoolgirl, a spooky mummy, and a Michael Bloom that likes to shoot everything in his path. You have to rush across roads, avoiding cars and buses, and have to trek through rivers, careful not to fall in by traveling on lily pads and logs. The game was released on November 20, 2014. It was published by Hipster Whale, who you can also play as in the game. Number 2, Temple Run. Hey, what did I tell you? Number 2 and one would be better. If you're not familiar with Temple Run, download it now. In this endless running game, developed in 2011, you can play as a number of people ranging from an archaeologist to a football star. They are all in search of a golden idol from a temple in Italy, but once they lay hands on the treasure, they are chased by demonic monkeys which inhabit the temple. You can tilt the screen to make your character run left and right while collecting coins and dodging obstacles. Whether you bash your head, fall off walkway, or get devoured by monkeys, you will always die or get turned back. But does, that doesn't mean it's not fun. If I could, I would spend a whole day playing this game. Before we get to number one, I'd like to show you three honorable mentions. Our first honorable mention is Subway Surfers. You get to jump and dodge obstacles and trains while collecting coins. This game is really fun, but we here at Unusual 10s and 5s voted out because it was too much like Temple Run. Our second honorable mention is Marvel Contest of Champions. This fighting game could keep you occupied for hours on end, but it doesn't appeal to everyone, so it didn't make the list either. Our third and last honorable mention is Earn to Die. Honestly, ever since I played this game in second grade, I've loved it, and not just me. Earn to Die is so addicting, drive around smashing zombies, unlocking new cars and levels, and new types of zombies as well. Specifically, Earn to Die 2 is the best, but we ruled it out because it came between this and stupid zombies, and we didn't want two zombie games. 1. Geometry Dash Ever heard of Geometry Dash, that game that everyone's talking about? Ever since the game was developed in 2013 by a Swedish guy, the game has been booming with popularity. You must click and tap to dodge obstacles and reach the end of each level. However, if you hit any of the spikes, the player has to start over from the beginning. I don't know what they were thinking, but the game was removed from Steam once, but thankfully later added back again. This game is so addicting, and you could play it forever, which is a long time. Hey viewers, we have now come to the end of this video. 
And remember to like, comment, and subscribe for the top five most addicting mobile games. Oops, I almost forgot the question for today. What is your favorite mobile game? Make sure to let us know by commenting. And the mutual tennis advice will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.